What is going on YouTube? Dub Gaming Peace here and welcome back to a brand new Elder Scrolls v Skyrim video. Now in today's video, I'll be doing a, another top 10. This time, one that I haven't seen on many YouTube videos before. So, we will be going over the top 10 merchants in Skyrim. Now these merchants can be either traveling merchants, they could be owners of shops or owners of stands. When I say owners of stands, meaning like, for example, here in Markarth, these, this is type, what I mean by stands. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this video, but before we do, I'd like to remind you guys to like the video, subscribe, and comment for some more videos. And without further ado, this will be the top 10 merchants in the Elder Scrolls v Skyrim. Now the only reason I did make this video is because merchants are appreciated much in this game. They're not very respected and I um, dislike that very much because they are what makes Skyrim Skyrim. The merchants that you can buy and sell your goods for. Otherwise you'd have a ton of shit that, and you'd be pretty much poor. So guys, without further ado, this will be the top 10 merchants of Skyrim starting now. Number 10, Bothila, and she is Citizen. the owner of the Hag's Cure in Markarth. So, in Markarth, Bothila is the owner of the Hag's Cure, in which the Hag's Cure often sells potions, ingredients, pretty much anything for your alchemy perks. Now, she is a old Force One worshipping woman. Who pretty much works alone, except if you get Thank you the Dark Brotherhood. If you do the Dark Brotherhood quest line, you will have <coughs> really Cesaro move. You'll have Murray here, Thank you again and for she can also help problems. you out in the store. But the this is, is the scary woman, I have and she will help you out with potions, food, ingredients, and books. Now she'll have pretty much all types of potions to resisting to extra magicka, shock, healing, um, and everything. The reason I put this on is because me in combat, I'm a low level character on this one, so I use stamina, magicka, and most like most importantly, health potions. In which the hag's cure sells, as you can see, some decent health potions here. So that is why I put her on this list at number ten is for the potions. Number nine, Branchy. Now, Branchy eh? is a Here dark elf fishing, who pretty much is looking for information about his past. Sorry, he will give the player, um, he will give the player a side quest that pretty now much, is, um, asked you if you can help him find, like, a book or a journal about his past, and he will pay you for it. Now, the reason I put Branchy on this list is because he has some of the best misc items for the Hearthfire DLC for building stuff like this glass, some bear pelts, or lock picks, etc. So on other days, he'll have more than what he has today, but Branchy is also a part of the Thieves Guild questline. So if you come into Riften and you talk to Brenloff, he will tell you to steal Medassi's gold coin, I mean gold ring, and put it in Branchy's pocket, putting Branchy in prison for the pretty much the rest of the Dragonborn's existence in Skyrim. So, but if you don't do this questline first and you stick to playing the Dragonborn questline and you wish to purchase, just um, the main know. quest line and keep Branchy on your good side, then that's a pretty good thing and you can use him for buying and selling goods. So Branchy is number nine on this list. Number eight, the Drunken Huntsman. Now, Drunken Huntsman, first of all, is located in Whiterun. So when you first walk through the Whiterun gates, you want to come right up here to the sign of the Drunken Huntsman and s go straight up into here. Now, the Drunken Huntsman is on this list for two reasons. One of the two reasons is that he is open 24 hours a day, day in and day out, 
night and day, every day, all seasons, all years. I think you get the drift. So now, the Drunken mean, Huntsman are you hunting? is a Never. very respectable wood elf. He will sell you whatever you need, whether it's armor, ammo, weapons, whatever. Even some food. Now, after a while, he will start getting on your bad side once you do Thank the you Dark Brotherhood quest line. Consider the fact that you have to kill his wood Let's elf brother. Someone. Shut up. So, he sometimes when you approach him, he'll say, Is there anything else you need, you miserable wretch? And let's see if he does it this time. Ah, oh, hello, my Nord friend. Okay, for some so he just supplies. called me the, a wretch from the first time, and now this time he's telling me I'm his friend. But anyway, as you can see, guys, he is a kind of um, Farewell. retarded oh, maybe person. And so, guys, and let's um, <laughs> put him on this list oh. for number eight. Because the Drunken Huntsman is a very respectable person and sells very good stuff. Number seven, Fehada, owner of Fletcher. Now, this is located in Solitude. Now, Fehada is a red guard man with odd color hair. Because he has yellow hair, which does not look good for a red guard character in this game. Um, he is a very respectable person, and due to the name of his shop, Fletcher, he makes and fletches and makes to perfection his own arrows and most likely bows. Now, when you walk into his shop, he can either be standing or sitting right there, and he could be over here next to his shop. Now, he does a lot of hunting, cooking, reading, and making of bows, arrows, weapons, and maybe even... A little bit of armor now he sells some very good and useful items he could also be a very pain in the ass if you steal something from him he will literally not leave you alone until you give it back to him but Fidata or Fihara as number seven on this list because my character does do a lot with archery and he makes some of the most powerful arrows and bows in Skyrim. Number six, Ungrian, runner of the Black Briar Meadery. Now, everybody knows once you come to Riften, that is the place to blow your money the Black Briar Meadery. Now, if you go to Riften, which if you guys don't know where it is on the map, it's right here. And the Blackbriar Meadery is where actually everybody will recommend going to guards and maybe even some other merchants. The Blackbriar Meadery is the best place to go to get drunk and blow a lot of money. Their mead is very good and it actually does some pretty decent stuff too. Um, if you go and I'll show you what this meadery actually does to you. So if you go and go to food, the normal Blackbriar Mead will restore 20 points of stamina. Stamina regenerates 40% slower for 30 seconds. So it has a good and a bad. Usually most um, meads restore only 15 points of stamina, so which this is a lot better. The Black Briar Reserves restores 30 points of stamina, and the stamina regenerates 40% slower for 30 seconds. They could also have some carrots and Nord mead as well. But since I'm here and doing a video, I may as well remember the moment and purchase some mead. But um, this is the runner of the Black Briar Meadery. There is one, this guy right here is the head brewmaster of the Blackbriar Meter. He pretty much runs it while Maven Blackbriar is the head of the family. And the entire Blackbriar family runs the Blackbriar Mead. But this is the guy to talk to if you want a drink. Number five, Medici. He is a Argonian. My personal best friend in Skyrim, my favorite Argonian friend, and the Argonian owner of a nice little stand here in the 
Thieves Guild City, Riften. Now, Riften, still same place. You'll find a Medici right over here. Now, what Medici is good for is selling jewelry handcrafted by him and the Argonians. Now, he makes his own jewelry and he is one of the last Argonians left that of his kind that still crafts some of the best jewelry in all of Skyrim. This is why I buy as much as I can from him in support of my good friend. I will love to buy his stuff, his lock picks, and whatever else he creates. This is good for enchanting characters as well, that they can use Medesi's um, equipment either. Actually, they can also get stuff to make their own jewelry, sometimes to sell like sapphires and stuff, and they can use it to enchant and make powerful um, health restorers, stamina, etc. Now, Medici is, like I said, one of the last Argonians of his kind that makes his own jewelry. And he says, I do, sadly, I'm the only one fewer of the Saxilil jewelers. So, he is trouble guarding materials. He will easy, he will also, guys, as you can see here, give you a side quest. And you can... Thank you, say thank you, Lance Rider. But he will give you a list of stuff like two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Now, Medassi is my personal favorite, and it has not much business, such as why I go to him and buy a bunch of random stuff from him. But I really respect this man and will buy whatever he makes. And I hope you guys do as well. Number four, Bercy Honeyhand, owner of the Pond Prawn. Now, this is also located in Riften. Now, Bercy Honeyhand in the Prawn Prawn is a um, general goods store, just like Bellathor's general goods store in Whiterun. He sells pretty much anything you guys can think about buying. And for some fair prices as well. But you guys, if you do do the Thieves Guild quest line, you will have to get 100 gold from him by probably most likely brawling him or threatening him slash persuading him. Now, this guy is a very respectable man, but he will get a little bit on your bad side if you decide to fight him like... The Thieves Guild pretty much demands you to. But other than that, he will, if you buy a, about five or more of his items after you assault him, he will forgive you and, um, put, you know, sell you more stuff for fair prices as well. But he may increase your prices after you, you know, try to kill him. So, I recommend buy a few of his items and then leave him alone. Number three, Balamond. Now, I'm sure this was no surprise for some people that Balamond will be on this list. Balamond is the blacksmith here in right, when Riften, Riften, Riften. But for some reason, he's not here right now. So, I'm going to check in his shop, which is the scorched, the scorched hammer. But Balamond is a very good blacksmith who is probably one of the best in Skyrim. Here's the man. He is very good, and he is always proud of his work. Um, a lot of people have been talking about um, Balamond. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I would put him in this part of this video in number three spot. But he will also increase his spot because he gives you the side quest that he will pay you to bring back 10 f um, fire salts. Now you can get those, he'll either tell you where you can get them, but you can buy them from um, an alchemy salesman, or you can either kill a um, mage, which they may have some on them, or if you're really that desperate, you will kill a um, flame arch. They marches typically have them. So, um, that was number three, Balamond. 
the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Number two, Belathor, owner of Belathor's general goods store. Location, Whiterun. Now, Belathor is probably no surprise to you guys that he is on this list. Belathor is a badass general goods store owner who also has a person who cuts wood for him and brings it to his store to sell. Belathor's general goods store is located right here in Whiterun, around the town circle. I'm just going to wait a little bit until his store is open so I can purchase equipment and misc items from him. <laughs> Belathor is a middle-aged farmer who actually does farm in the nighttime, and he also owns this nice store. He is a Breton, and in the war, when you're taking over or either defending Whiterun, he will pretty much. You can pretty much ask him, um, how did the war go for you, and he will pretty much tell you that. He was underneath his counter, screaming, and pretty much crying. So, he does have emotions. He is a pretty chicken shit of a salesman, but he does own my spot on this list because of the good stuff he has, and he usually carries a good bit of gold. Now, if he carries some gold... That will also be my liking point for this salesman. Anybody who will carry gold, plenty of gold with them gets my spot at number two on this list. Because I hate it when I'm trying to sell somebody something. But they run out of room and gold for me to sell them stuff. It's one of my biggest beefs. And so... That is why Bellathor is at number two on this list because he's a general goods store owner. He's also a farmer. He has a personality and he has gold. Thank you. Number one, Sema, owner of Bits and Priests. Location, Solitude. This is the biggest general goods store in all Skyrim because it is in the capital of Skyrim. It pretty much explains why it would be the biggest, most gold, and best business. Now, Sema is a Red Guard salesman who will have some pretty interesting stuff for sale. She has fair prices for her goods, and she gets some pretty good business being in the capital of Skyrim, known as Solitude. You can buy, sell many stuff from her, and she will give you a side quest to get a few ingredients for her, because she wants, because she's gonna probably want to make a potion that she can sell for good gold. That is why she is number one on this list, because she has the best stuff for sale. She's a general goods, which I love the best. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Peace out.